Hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about the question that everybody has on their mind how do you make money online but how do you use attraction marketing to generate income online what is this why do you need attraction marketing why do you need personal branding why is it that you need to do that today and how do you get to a point where you're going to start to generate income I mean there's lots of different people out there that are teaching you different things they're telling you you got to do this you got to do this you got to do this and you know I'm probably going to tell you a lot of the same things but I'm going to try to give you a step by step what are the things you need to do based on what I've done to start to generate income online all right so we'll get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so all right so you want to know how to make money online right there's lots of different ways attraction mar uh, not, not affiliate marketing I mean you know selling courses uh referring other people's stuff and getting a commission building your own site getting your own customers to pay you a monthly fee on membership sites there's all these different ways of generating income online but how do you use attraction marketing to get to a point where you're actually going to start to generate income so for me I've done lots of different things and one of the things I'm doing is building um, a site where you can have your own membership site where you have your own courses all this stuff so for sure for me it's a long-term play right it's not something that I'm going to generate income next week because it takes a long time to build and also it takes a long time to generate the the interest in getting people to start using it and all that so that's beside the point so I, I don't want to talk about necessarily that because that's a big big thing to do so we're going to talk about how what are the steps that you need to take to build your business or to start to use attraction marketing to get customers to you right so let's just talk about that uh let me just actually I'm going to show you something uh, something I saw this morning hopefully I can find it really quick uh, I should have prepared that obviously but let's just go over here and go find in uh, LinkedIn I actually was looking at a, something that I saw in my news feed let me just uh, go find it here so actually let me just share my screen all right so I was actually looking through my feed and I saw a post from one of my friends that I've been uh, that I work actually it's somebody I work with uh, so I'm just going to go and search for her here so Mayan so she posted um uh, whoops M -A -A, Mayan Gordon so she posted something this morning or maybe it was yesterday I'm not really sure but about her income that she's generating right uh so if I look at her activity her posts uh, I don't know if you know how to do this but in LinkedIn you can go to anybody's and you can go and look at their posts right so she's been posting a lot of stuff she's been posting a lot of stuff reg re regularly um but just this morning uh yeah this, today see 12 hours ago this is what she posted I'm actually gonna put a comment in here and it's gonna say wow that is that is super awesome I remember when you posted a few hundred this is this is a huge increase it's huge deal congrats all right so uh so yeah so basically uh, if you can see right here she's posting that she made 17 yeah so she's posting she made 17,000 in a week right in the past week she's made 17 now you don't get to make 17,000 in a week just by posting content now she's been active on social media for a long long time she's got uh, millions of followers on TikTok she and I worked on a course she's doing a lot of stuff and now she's she's doing some consulting she's doing lots of she's got a group she's got a but that's the thing so how does somebody like that if I if I scroll if, I don't know how far I can how easily I can scroll back but the thing is that if I go oops, where is this? I'm just going to scroll down and try to go really f in the past here 
because she's like as you can see she's been posting daily pretty much uh her she's doing live she's doing content so this is exactly what I mean by attraction marketing right so you got to be regularly posting things you got to be regularly doing things you got to be working your butt off on all these different things right and this is a this is a perfect example of somebody who is doing it she is really really doing it and I just I should have probably this as you can see this is taking a while to go through the timeline here and go find something that's a little older let me see if I can yeah there we go but you know so that's the thing so okay so here's what you got to do first you got to set up your social media presence you got to set up your social media presence you got to have a social media account you got to have like for her man Gordon if you look her up you're going to find her on different platforms you're going to find her um uh, posting different things but she's active and she's got a presence that's the first thing you got to do if you want to do attraction marketing and if we look at some something else like for example if I have if I look at the one of the things I uh whoops uh, click if I go to uh, my site with uh, my courses there one of the courses I have on here is um 10 simple online strategies now that's one of the things that I give out for free you just go to masterofsimple.com and you get these and these are these are the the one of the most important things you got to do online if you want to do attraction marketing you want to get people attract to you like if we look at this ebook over here right which you get for free by the way by just going to that that link masterofsimple.com this book here is basically the 10 right the 10 strategies plus some bonuses right and it's all about how to grow your audience online what are the things you need to do what do you do on social media what do you do you gotta whether you have to have a blog or uh, an email list uh, all these different things it's all about that um getting that uh set up right so the first thing like I said is you got to have a social media presence then you have to have content you post regularly if you don't post content regularly like if you look at somebody like Marianne who started and I if I could go back here this is two weeks ago so that's not very far uh, I know that for the last couple of months that's probably uh, for like I said I think probably for the last um three four months since March or so actually and before March yeah it was since March I actually met Maya and we started collaborating together on a course now she's moved on she's doing all sorts of other things she's collaborating and, and having interviews with a bunch of people and that's awesome I really think that's great and 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 what I wanted to say is that this is an example of somebody who really is getting their message out there who's really getting the people to get to know her right she's getting people to know her what she's about what she does um as you can see all through this is uh well, let's make this a little bit more here so as as you can see she's doing a lot of content and she's really you know getting active right letting people know I mean if you see her definitely you're going to see what she's about and it's that's part of it you have to be creating now I'm not saying this is overwhelming if you're starting out just take it one step at a time right just one step at a time let's just do a little uh a notepad here let's go notepad I'm just going to do something here something really simple uh notepad let's just do a notepad let's just go in here and I'm just gonna make this let's uh, make it a little bit bigger where is that right there okay I'm just gonna go like here I'm just gonna go um format font let's make it a little bit bigger so we can see there we go okay so what to do to generate well to make money let's just say make money money online with attraction marketing okay so what do you what do you need to do right what do you need to do number one you need to have you need social media presence okay so create social media accounts now if you don't have social media accounts on different platforms go ahead and just create them it doesn't mean you have to create content right away it doesn't mean you have to do all that just get the the ground prepared right create an account I mean you got to go on Facebook you got to have an account on LinkedIn 
you got oops you got to have an account on um on Twitter you got to have an account whoops on Instagram you, Instagram you got to have an account on YouTube you should have an account on TikTok it's one of the big one of the big platforms right now okay and you could um possibly have a Pinterest um and there's tumblr the point is that you just go create those accounts right go create those accounts use okay so and then number two is then use same user id everywhere so just use your name like your name your full name in my case it's Jean-Serge Gagnon right so just use your name like that as your account so that's one of the most important things because when people go from one account to the other they they find you on Facebook they're gonna maybe want to connect with you on Instagram or on YouTube or on LinkedIn or whatever if they can find you with your name that makes it a lot easier especially if the account's the same right so number three use same profile picture and possibly cover photo right so depending on the depending on the account right depending on the platform there might or might not be a cover photo there's also some variations that you can use like for example in LinkedIn it's more of a business thing Twitter's for me anyways is more of a business thing so I use the same cover photo on those ones and on Facebook I I actually use family stuff so I post family stuff on there so it's uh it's it's a give and take right but the profile picture should be the same across all platforms so that people when they see you they know oh that's the one because for example I don't know let's say your name is is John John Smith right well there's a lot of other people out there probably called John Smith that already have an account so you won't be able to use John Smith <laughs> so maybe on one platform you'll be able to use John Smith too or John Smith fan or John Smith business or I am John Smith right the 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 user id and then you go to all the other platforms you can use it and then all of a sudden one of the platforms you can't use that so you have to add something else to it so if you have the same profile picture and somebody searches for you they're going to find you know the right they're going to find you still because they they recognize the profile picture oh that's probably him right so that's one of the things so so once you have that right once you have your accounts all set up you got all your social media accounts set up then then and then oh and by the way the other thing is you probably you you'll want a blog now why do you want a blog I mean today we're like oh my god blogs are are so so 19 you know 2000 right 2010 even right blogs are not going away the reason why is because on social media as you can see right now I'm going through a Mayan's uh, timeline right I'm trying to find something from a couple months ago right I can't easily find that in here right I have to go to the bottom wait for it to load then I have to go to the bottom again and and wait for that to load right and then I have to go to the bottom again and wait for that to load so it takes a while to load the her to go back in time right if I want to go back in time here uh one month ago right if I want to go further back in time I have to go and I I it's the platform the platform decides how how fast and how it takes with a blog if I go to my blog for example is that my blog this is my blog yeah so this is my blog if I go to my blog for example I can go right up here I go to the home page on my blog whoops let's move that away I go to the home page of my blog and I can see all the different posts right here but I can also easily search for like okay I'm interested in say for example I'm interested in just um uh, TikTok so I click on the oh, let's go there so I'm interested and I just click on the TikTok right there and it'll show me all the TikTok posts that I did or the ones that I tagged TikTok in it right then uh the other thing is there's a way to there's a way to set up I haven't done that but you can set up your blog with uh, archives so I can go back in five years ago that kind of stuff and I probably should do that but and I can also search I can just go up here let's just show you that up there I can just click on the little search thing right here I can search for um I don't know uh WordPress no let's search for let's say Facebook I can just search for Facebook and it'll show me all the posts that have Facebook in the name which 
you know there's lots of older posts some of them don't even have a cover photo and uh, like 229 the simple online strategies from like January 1st 2019 so it'll automatically show me anything that has Facebook in the title right so that's the thing with a blog it's easier to find content it's easier to go back in time it's easier to to have access to to you know the stuff that that's been for a while so that's that's the that's one thing right so now let's go back here move that away a bit here all right so so you'll want to blog now why do you want to blog like I said because it makes your content more easily accessible to your audience your audience is going to be able to find your stuff more easily it's going to make it simpler to find stuff right it's it's like if I go to, if I go to my blog right if I just search I can search through things I can go through things I can I can access whatever I want in my blog and it makes it easier to find things right that's one of the things that's one of the reasons why you want a blog you're going to want a blog to show things see things make it easy for people to find your stuff right okay so that's your blog uh, now let's see so um and the other thing is you don't have to be posting stuff every single day like me I post almost every day um you can post once a week or something but the idea is that you want to post there once in a while so that after a while you have a hundred or more pieces of content that you can start sharing across social media platforms I use I use automation the other thing you want to do is you want to be consistently posting so number five so consistently post okay so that sounds probably a very over overwhelming when you look at all the different platforms that you have there are you going to be posting on every single one of those platforms that's totally insane right it's totally crazy to have to post everywhere like that right but the thing is that over time you get used to it and you get better at it and you you know it can be just as simple as posting on Facebook a picture of your backyard or the sunset or the sunrise or whatever it is that you enjoy doing do that first right you got to do something you enjoy doing you got to do something that you're you're happy about that that you can you know you're you'd be enjoy you'd enjoy having conversations about with other people that actually you know comment on your stuff you're going to actually going to find it fun to reply back to them you're going to find it fun to to go check out their posts because you know somebody say you're you're you like sunsets right you like sunrises and sunsets I like those right so say I post sunset pictures and I like the comments and I comment back and I do and that's the other thing so number six you're going to want to do engage engage on comments and others posts so you got to engage now that's is the other thing so it's super important to engage because if you don't engage that's the thing right with social media platforms your stuff isn't going to get seen by others unless you're engaging with with other people's stuff now I'm not saying you engage with person A's stuff and then person A is going to see your stuff not necessarily they might it depends on the platform and how it's all set up but the idea is that whenever you engage you're telling the platform that you're a person who's worthy of sharing your stuff so you engage on other people's stuff that the platform knows that you're a person who who is engaging who's doing things who's who's being uh, you know being uh, somebody who who's worthy of the platform's time right so they're going to start to show your stuff to other people like for me if I go to Facebook I've got like almost 5,000 friends let's go take a look um let me if I go to Facebook I'll just go to a Facebook here <clears throat> um I mean I have let's see I have uh memories I have I have I have how do I this is a new the new U interface right I'm not really sure it shows me uh, can you friends 126 friend requests mm, how do I know how many friends I have where is that now they change things right they change things everywhere you sent requests that's just friend requests where is it where do you see your friends I guess I gotta go to my profile oh right it's up here up here right over here friends 4095 I have 4095 I still don't have 5000 friends that's only because I haven't been accepting just anybody as you can see I've got a lot of friend requests and that's the thing so as as I as I grow my Facebook audience as I post things on Facebook right as I do things on Facebook I get people to engage on things only if I engage on their stuff right I'm posting things every day I'm sharing things 
I'm uh, but I'm not getting a ton of engagement to see one comment here five comments there uh well this one had lots 38 comments some of them have more than others right but the thing is the reason is because if I post if I share if I comment then the platform is going to share my stuff to other people right that's kind of how it works right so your platform you're going to see things in your your timeline based on what engagement you're doing and if you engage people are going to see your stuff versus other people's stuff that's the secret be engaging right so that's one of the things you got to really be doing is you got to be engaging on comments you consistently post that doesn't mean posting every single day every five minutes whatever depends on the platform but you know you should be posting a couple times a week if not uh, uh, every day depending on the platform like I said you got to look that up there's different trainings on the different platforms if you want to be posting on Facebook I probably say once a day is good maybe twice a day if you post on Twitter you might want, want to find something that allows you to post like 20 times a day um, on Instagram probably a couple times a day as well um, Pinterest you can post lots of times a day so it's really in LinkedIn maybe a couple times a week is really all you need I have automation I use I use something called um so social jukebox social jukebox is something that lets you post automatically I've got this uh, schedule here that says post these things on these days from these jukeboxes what are jukeboxes there's set of there's set of posts that is automatically shared, posted on the schedule it's picked randomly through in the jukebox so it lets it lets you look like if you're active on on the platform oh god okay so now what is the other thing so if I let's see if I can go back down here if I can go back down to another one I'm just still trying to find in the Mayans post from a long time ago yeah I guess it's taken a while it would take me a while I probably should have done this off obviously I should have done this before maybe I'll do that another time and I'll show you that but okay so now engage on uh, on in common on other people's posts number seven you're gonna want to have like a you know an email list okay so set up an email list manager like Aweber right I use Aweber I actually have some training on my blog that talks about how to set up Aweber where to get it there's a 14 day free trial but the thing is that your email list is where you're going to capture so there's there's two things in your online attraction marketing that you really want to have number one is your blog because it's a permanent evergreen content that's the thing with blogs it's evergreen and it's yours you own it it's not owned by the platform the platform can decide Facebook LinkedIn whatever they can decide to shut you off turn off your account stop sharing your stuff they can decide that because they have the power it's their platform whereas a blog it's yours you control it you control what you put on it and you also you you can also use it to share across platforms you can share the links you can share some of the content you can send that to your email list you can do all these things and the second thing the number two is your email list your email list is another it's your it's your contacts that are under your control right you you choose when you send them stuff you choose what you send them you choose you know what you do when they open the emails you choose what they what you do what happens when they when they click a link all these things can be under your control not the platform's control right because when we talk about um traffic to your blog to your offers to your to whatever it is you're selling that traffic is going to be you know control it's either under your control out of your control or owned by you right so if it's owned by you that's because it's in your list right it's in your email list you control it it's to totally under your control you have 100 control of that number two in control is when you do an ad so you're spending money to post on Facebook on LinkedIn on Google and YouTube anywhere that you can spend ad money it's it, it's paid for right you pay for it and then the third is not is out of your control is people that land say on somebody else's blog and you they were talking about you I mean that's not going to happen in the beginning probably but eventually that will happen and you're going to have people that will come to your page based after they've seen somebody else talk about you right so those are the three types of traffic I'm I'm going all over the place because I'm remembering 
some of these things that are behind me you can you can't can you read that let's see if you can read that some of these things that are behind me I have actually you can see up top I have the traffic secrets the expert secrets the books from Russell Brunson he talks about traffic he talks about these different things and that's one of the things that I've I've done a lot is learned a lot from that but the thing is that like I said the basics that's the basics right you got to create your social media account you got to have the same user ID everywhere you want to use the same profile picture you want to have a blog you want to consistently post you want to engage on comments and you want to set up an email list and then uh based on that you will want to send emails to your list so broadcasts now what are broadcasts broadcasts are emails you send on a schedule like me I send a broadcast every pretty much every day or weekdays anyways and they're basically uh you know one of my old posts or some of the text from the post so that's how I reuse content right you can do that too you can do content content reuse right so so share uh, same video on YouTube Facebook LinkedIn LinkedIn and Instagram right so I also share uh I also I also oh actually I should probably move that out of the way here well actually let's just leave that there move my oops and then move me up here all right so yeah so the other thing I do too as well is I also I also share story on TikTok TikTok Snapchat Instagram and Facebook now once I have enough uh, subscribers on YouTube I'll also be able to do that on YouTube the stories on YouTube I'm not really sure about the YouTube stuff because the YouTube stories since I don't have access to it and I see stories on YouTube as well that's another platform that has stories um so maybe maybe that'll be worthy of of use but that's the thing so your content reuse you can share the same pictures on Facebook Instagram LinkedIn Twitter right uh oh also I share the video on Twitter as well right right I share the videos there so and the same thing with the post like the, the 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 post right so same thing with posts the images or the text you can sh share it across platforms you can send an email like I send an email to my list with my content and an image like a a, a gif which is a moving image right to my email list so that way people when they see the the email it kind of looks like a video that's more in, more engaging more likely to click it to watch the video and uh, because they see a little snippet of it right so that's that's the thing so this is what you got to do to generate income and I know it sounds like you wanted a quick answer you wanted this just just tell me how to make money online right how to make money online you gotta work it you gotta work it and it takes a while maybe you can do it in a few months but chances are it'll take a few years but if you're consistent and you're persistent and you learn the basics you got to be engaging you got to be having conversations with people too so maybe that's the number 10 is we want to make sure so have conversations with your audience so what does that mean so you can have conversations in post like me when I'm when I'm posting I'm always saying I'm always talking to one person right I'm talking to you I'm not talking to a whole you know group of people because whoever's watching this this video or listening to this audio is one person right it's not going to be played in an auditorium with a with 100 people watching right it's going to be it's going to be one person watching it on their phone or listening to it in, the, in a podcast and it's one person so that's why I say you I talk to you I say you are doing great it's awesome I love hearing about your results tell me more about your results so that's one of the conversations right having a conversation with the person that's listening to you or watching you and then have a conversation in person like like actual chatting online or video con video chatting with zoom for example or on Facebook video right and just have a conversation like that just kind of see what they're about go look at their profile go look at their posts go look at what they do what they like what are they into and have a conversation about what they're into don't talk about your stuff 
don't post links don't tell them about your these are things that I talked about in my 10 steps to my 10 simple online strategies right and that the 10 simple online strategies to attract customers to you that ebook that I was showing you right if you go to masterofsimple.com just go there put your name and email get that free ebook go look at those 10 videos learn from that to build and how to build an audience right that's definitely something I would recommend you should need you should go check that out at masterofsimple.com all right so that's basically I mean it sounds like I said I wish it was simpler it's not that it's not that complicated if you go step by step and figure things out right so hopefully you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.